Mail call. Today we're going to look at the TSO TPG 50 complete parallel guide for your track saw. And this works with the Festool, the Makita, and the Triton. I'm Ron Falk, and this is the Smart Wood Shop. If you want to get a detailed set of plans to build yourself a smart wood shop or one of my smart workbenches, link in the description down below. Also in our store you'll find some affiliate links from great companies like TSO, Atlas 46, and Amazon. If you use those links, they'll share a little bit with us. They won't charge you any extra and help support the channel. Let's get it unboxed and see what we have. Two stop blocks, four knobs, two rails for narrow stock ripping, a pair of 20 inch bars, a pair of 30 inch bars, and a pair of 50 inch bars. These may look very familiar. You've seen them in my videos for a couple of years now. One of the things I've learned about TSO is it's absolute precision or nothing. They went to this laser etching. All of the rails are number stamped. So this 20 inch is 0A3. That matches the other one, as well as the 230s and the 250s. When I take a set of stops from the 30 and move them over to the 50, I'm going to get the same cut. The TSO rails are part of a system. You can choose to go with the guide rail attachments or the GRS, the guide rail squares. Either way, they'll attach to your rail. These are not part of the rails. You have to order this separately. These will attach to any of the rail pairs. What I like is there's no alignment. They go in those holes and they just fit. It's not a little bit, can't, they can't be a little bit canted or a little bit in or out. They just fit in one way. That's one thing that I've really appreciated about everything from TSO, including their guide rail squares. When you put them on the track, there's no adjustment. It just locks on. The stops are identical except they're assembled in left and right. The guide that goes into the T-track on the rail is spring-loaded. So you loosen it, push in on it, and it slips right on the rail. And the pointer has no parallax error. You put it right on and right where you set it, that's the cut you're going to get. The attachment to the rail is quick and simple. You take the right side and just slip it on the right side of your track. These actually sit right on top of your material. So I, I know if I'm going to rip uh, a full 4x8 sheet, I can just bring them in a little ways. Obviously, the further out, just for accuracy, but I don't have to, again, dial them in to anything specific. Once I get them about where I want them, I just take the provided tool and tighten these down. The scale is in both metric and imperial, so I can set it on inches or millimeters. And the stops are flip stops, so you flip them up until you get them on your material. The rails, all the different sizes, will also fit on the guide rail squares from TSO. GRS 16 is for the right-hand side, and so you take the right-handed scale, and it goes on exactly the way the other attachment does. There's only one way to put it on, only one set of holes that line up. If you told me that you can have all the tracks you want, but you can only have one accessory to go with your tracks, I would choose the GRS-16 and I would choose their PE version. And the reason I like the PE is the GRS-16 works for the right-hand side, but the PE has the holes and both sides square, so I can mount the rail and use it on the left hand side or I can use this rail and do it on the right hand side. So oft oftentimes what you'll see is the, a kit where a person will have both of these like I do and use this one on the left and this one on the right. And this is the best rail attachment I've seen anywhere on the market where you just slip it on and clamp it on. It's such a clever and precise way to attach to the rail that Festool actually licenses this and, and sells it under their own brand. In the kit, TSO also provides these bars for narrower rips. For those rips that are narrower than the track is, what you do is take this pin out of the stop and you slip these longer ones in 
And then what you're able to do is this will slide under and bump into the material so you can get really narrow rips. I've never used them and I don't intend to. I have a table saw for narrow stuff and my tracks for wider stuff. Let's make a cut. Seven sixty one, seven sixty one, twenty five sixty eight, twenty five sixty eight. Now I need a six sixty three cross cut. So I've attached the thirty inch rail to the guide rail square. In this case, I'm using the guide rail square to square my track, and I'm using the thirty inch rail to give me the length of my cut. Six sixty three, six sixty three, one thousand and eight, one thousand and eight. If you're a home builder or a remodeler or a mobile carpenter like I am, or even if you work out of a small one or two car garage and you need to park your car in at night, you just don't have the room for a large sliding table saw or cabinet saw or CNC machine. It's nice to know that with a fairly small investment relative to that bigger machinery and a good track saw system and good guide rails like TSO offer, you can get the precision of those bigger, much more expensive machines, but you can take it with you to the job or use it in your small shop. I want to thank TSO for sending me these rail guides and allowing me to participate in giving them feedback and letting them know what really works day in and day out for working carpenters. Hey, if you like these tool reviews and you'd like to see more, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Remember to ring that bell so you'll know when I drop a new video. Thanks for dropping into the Smart Wood Shop. You stay safe and have a great day.